A few days since the 737 is out and here we are with a growing amount of add-ons on top of this magnificent jet. We hope you're doing fantastic ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you back. What a marvelous 737 we have here, right? Eh? By the way, this is the Hangar Talk series, a subset of the channel where we focus on what's best in the line of freeware for the most part. So if you like this video, hit a like, plus subscribing greatly helps us. Let's talk about liveries, realistic services, custom camera views and a lot more. I've tried to make things more simple here. If you want to take a look at liveries, you can continue watching this video. But if you'd like to jump ahead at other things, you can check the timestamps. But hey, it's a weekend. What do you really have to lose here, right? Keep watching and hopefully you find some cool looking liveries. Alright, jumping right into the liveries. This is one of the most demanded liveries. The TUI owns a range of 737s on their fleet going all the way to the Dreamliners. Now this is quite a responsible airliner and they try to focus on an environmental friendly aspect by preferring fuel efficient airliners as much as possible. A nice move, plus it got recognized as the most environmentally and socially responsible airliner for 4 straight years. A nice livery here. Now Steve Dra is the main person behind this artistic livery. Beautiful rich colors. 3000 downloads in a matter of 48 hours plus 5 stars. A great looking livery. Let's look at the 8K livery here. Germany's largest airline and if combined in Europe is the second largest in terms of passengers carried annually. Now this download can be done directly, meaning you don't need to go through the app according to the dev. I'll mention this in the description next to the links so that it's easy for you to know which ones need to go through the app and which ones are direct community folder drop-ins. When I mention app here, I'm talking in regards to the PMDG app. It's a simple process and I'll mention the instructions on how to install these liveries quite easily. Moving to the British Airways here, developed by Ricky D, released a couple of days ago, a popular airline on most sims. Now the dev has been working on fixes and released a quick fix when requested by the community. That's the level of commitment some of the folks really deliver. And do put your 5 star votes to these devs, they do a great job. It's a freeware and it takes time to develop these things. A great job overall. Now shipping companies are very interesting. Let's look at Amazon Air Livery here. Don't you love flying these sometimes? Look at the work of art here. This is an 8K livery with more than 2400 downloads within hours. Now there's actually a fact about Amazon Air. This was known as Amazon Prime Air before. That's only used to transport cargo and almost 5 years ago, they changed the name to Amazon Air, keeping it simple plus a differentiating factor from their drone shipping idea. A nice livery for sure. Another shipping company leaves us with DHL here. An 8K livery, I was actually hoping for 16K. Well, I guess we ought to get stuck with the 8K suppose. <laughs> well jokes aside, it's a great job here overall. The Sefer Samadhi is the developer for this nice looking livery. A rich paint here. I can smell that fresh coat of paint right here hovering around the aircraft, don't you? A 5 star rating on this one. And most of the liveries here have a great rating. Now DHL Aviation offers worldwide services, a co-owned company chartered by DHL Express. Observing FedEx now, I like this livery plus the UPS one as well. Now there isn't one yet for the UPS, hopefully soon and hopefully by this weekend, you never know. An 8K livery again, FedEx Express it is, a major American cargo airline that's based in the state of Tennessee, the US, plus one of the world's largest in terms of fleet size. The last livery what we see here is American Airlines. Now this comes with a clean and a dirty version here. Zach B is the dev for this livery. Almost 2000 downloads and very simply with the 737 the amount of downloads would be easily in thousands. A most demanded aircraft for sure. Moving to camera views here, I've included this based on demand. Custom views are very personal here and there are folks who prefer some of the views particularly. But if you ask me, I'm quite happy with the default custom views we have right now. But if you still like something different, here they are. You can find two sets of different camera views here. One that's been developed by Aqua Z Dev and the second version by Captain Rami 777. 
Both of them have made it easy where you can quickly move through different views on your number pad. Perfect for landing views if you ask me or making even landing videos. And something to note is for these types of freewares, you don't need to go through the PMDG app. You can rather replace the config file under the community folder. Again, I place instructions in the description. So there's no need for you to look around for this. And one more thing to note is to please make sure you take a copy of existing configuration file before you replace this. This can always happen if in case you change your mind. Let's look at realistic services here. This has been made into a drag and drop method, rather easier to drop into your community folder. We do have the PMDG services, however, we can have a little more variety with these. Two devs have worked on this freeware, Ion the Hippo and Oliver Alberto. I've included all the links here in the description below with the instructions if in case any of the liveries need direct downloads plus the location of the configuration files in case if you liked any of these camera views. Now let's discuss about installing liveries as it isn't as simple as dragging and dropping into the community folder. It just needs a couple more steps. To install the liveries, you need to go through the PMDG app so as to ensure everything is created perfectly. Very simply, when you download the livery, it comes in a form of a zip file. Create a temporary folder on your desktop, it makes it easier. Once you download the zip file, extract that zip file. The zip file should contain a PTP file. Now all you need to do is to navigate to the PMDG Operation Center's app, open it, click on the aircraft and liveries menu, choose livery utilities, select the simulator if it's a Steam or a Microsoft Store version, now select the product and the variant, in this case being the 737-700 and click install from PTP file. As soon as you click on this, it makes it easy for you to locate your PTP files where you extracted from the zip files you downloaded. Select all these files like how I did and click on open and voila, you're all set. Make sure to restart your sim if you have it up and running, this gets them loaded. Now wasn't that simple? We hope you like this video and with these sets of add-ons, things can be much better on your 737. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. And by the way, World Update 9 is incoming folks, on the 17th of May. Do take a look at this video to know more. Until next time, take care and happy flying folks.